So a few months back, we were sitting around going, what can we do with a coyote that has not already been done before? So we built a carbureted coyote. If you want to learn more about it, you can click the link above here and go to the long block and dyno video, so we're not going to get too far into the engine. Basically, it was the first ever 4150 style carbureted coyote, made 590 horsepower and 447 pound-feet of torque on Q16 fuel. So many of you asked, so what would this thing make if it was fuel injected? So we turned to AM with their new Infinity standalone engine management system. The great thing about the Infinity, it's one of the few on the market that actually controls four cams. With that, it's really critical to using the VCT on the Coyote for it to operate like an OEM motor. But before we could use AM Infinity, we actually had to convert the motor back to fuel injection. So we took the motor back over to LNR Engines, the people who originally built the motor, so they could reassemble the VCT. Basically, take out the comp cam's lockout plates, insert the limiters, and then put the induction on that. With the induction, we went with Ford Racing's all new Cobra Jet intake manifold and oval style single blade throttle body. Now this is the latest and greatest for Coyote intake manifold technology. It has a lot better gains at the top end with very, very minimal low end sacrifice. That means with this manifold, we're gonna get the best bang for the buck for the horsepower we wanna produce out of this motor. To fuel the motor, we turn to Deech Works and their 60 pound per hour injectors and air motive fuel rails. Now you might be going, why are we going with such a big injector on a naturally aspirated combination? We're doing that because we want to run the motor on E85. One great thing about the AM Infinity, it actually has flex fuel sensor technology where you can plug in a GM flex fuel sensor and it can blend between a 91 octane and an E85 octane depending on the ethanol content on the fuel. Really cool for you streetcar guys that are trying to maximize miles per gallon on 91 but also make maximum horsepower when running E85. Once LNR buttoned up the engine, we shipped the motor over to CPR Engines and used their engine dyno to see what kind of power we can get out of this. All in all, we're able to make 625 horsepower and 462 pound-feet of torque at 7,900 RPM. So we rev the motor up to 83 and 8500 RPM, something we couldn't have done when it was carbureted because the motor just didn't like being revved up that high. It did not make much power past 8000 RPM, thus our rev limiter will be right around the 8000 8200 range. This is an overall increase of 35 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque over the carbureted motor, but really a lot of low-end torque due to the VCT control, upwards of 18 to 21 pound-feet of torque in that lower RPM range. Now we actually ran into a problem during the first day of testing and realized the cam actuator on the driver exhaust cam broke. With the AM we were able to see that the cam was not operating properly since it was not responding to the input we were trying to give it to move it around, so we actually had to take the motor off the dyno to fix it. The AM Infinity is chock full of options and we only use a few of them on the dyno. We're really looking forward to getting this motor into a car and playing with it further. Now we don't even know what we're going to put this motor into yet, but comment below and we might take your suggestion and turn it into our next project car. Yeah.